good everyone welcome back to another video it's geo here i hope you're all doing well I hope you're all staying safe i hope you're all holding it down and trying to stay productive if you're in lockdown like we are here in london uk and yeah it's just a mad time so just try hold it down and obviously you will get through it eventually in the end now today's video is going to be a review video and if you've watched some of my review videos back in the past then you already know how this video is going to go and um yeah, I'm going to show you a product. We're going to talk a bit about it, talk about the brand that the product's from. I'm going to try it on, talk about materials, stuff like that. And yeah, that's about it for the video. <laughs> but um, yeah, the brand that I'm looking at today is a brand that goes by the name of Pala Leather. And you can probably guess by the name, they sell leather jackets. Now they sell a wide range of leather jackets from overcoats to vest leather jackets, to biker jackets, to just all types of jackets. It's like a go to website for leather jackets and I believe they sell over I think like over 50 different types of leather jackets which is mad and they are all real leather and are all you know that authentic goat leather so it is very it's good quality and it's definitely long lasting now before we get into this video I just want to let you lot know I am selling almost every single piece that you've probably seen on my YouTube and if you let me know that you're a subscriber I will definitely hook you up with some good prices. Now I'm talking about my coats, my shoes, everything, probably the stuff I'm wearing. Well, actually no, not the stuff I'm wearing because these are like, these are kind of new, these trousers. I don't think I've worn these before. But yeah, I'm selling everything and I'm clearing out a lot of stuff. So check out my Instagram, onlygeo underscore. And if you want to buy anything, let me know. But yeah, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel for more men's fashion. And let's get into the video. My facial hair and hair is a mess. I mean, London is in lockdown right now. There's no barbers, so it's just peak. But yeah, the jacket we're gonna be looking at today is this trench, this trench overcoat. I don't know if I should call it a trench coat or an overcoat, but um, it's not the standard overcoat that you would usually see me wear. See, the overcoats that I usually wear are like more oversized and quite big and more casual, you would say, even though you can dress them up. But this is more of a slim, smart, more elegant and dressed up type of jacket. Not saying that you can't dress it down because you can, but yeah, the reason why I picked this jacket and I asked for them to send me this one is because I don't really wear tight, slim jackets. So I wanted to experiment with this and see if I can style it, which you will see later on in the video. But um, yeah, the price of this jacket was actually $400 to start with and I believe it's on sale right now for around $200. Now they do ship worldwide, so no matter where you are in the world, if you do wish to purchase a jacket from them, you can and they will cover the shipping because it's quite expensive so they do offer free shipping. Now, in terms of sizing, now I sent them all my measurements and if you want a custom made jacket, I think you can actually send them all your measurements and then they will, you know, kind of craft a jacket to you and tailor the jacket to your body shape, which is really cool because that really means that like, no matter how big or small you are, you can get a jacket from them. Now, in terms of the color, I think this is like a vegetable, vegetable brown, I might be mistaken. I think it's like brown, but on camera, it does look dark and sometimes when I look at it, I'm like, no, it's black, but it's actually dark brown, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, the leather is 100% goat leather, so it's that real authentic leather that's gonna, you know, last really long. And the thing with leather jackets, like, I feel like as time goes on, they do tend to look better as they age and kind of like mold to your body. Because I've had leather jackets before and they've been really stiff and it's took a while for them to like break in and they kind of like mold to your body and that's what, I love about leather jackets and I've only got like two leather jackets so that's why I picked this one now these are very versatile jackets and what I love about these jackets is that like I said you can wear this casual with like a hoodie underneath and more of a like streetwear look with your like trainers and your trousers and you can like dress it down but then at the same time you can wear it with a turtleneck and really like you know dress it up and look really smart about it and that's why no matter what type of style you have I feel like these are very this is, these type of jackets are a very good versatile piece now we have three buttons that are going down the center like a standard trench coat would have and then we have this type of panel here which you can wear done up with the button or you can do it up and obviously it's got a nice sturdy collar which is really good if you wear turtlenecks underneath or a jumper underneath because it just exposes that neck area and just really looks on point now on the waist it does have a belt across the back 
But I think that's just for like that's just the visual of it. There's no actual there's no actual, you know, meaning for the belt. It doesn't come across the waist and tie like some trench coats. But if you do prefer trench coats that have a belt like that that you can tie across the waist, then they do have it on the website. They have a wide range of jackets, like I said, and if you do wish to purchase any jackets from them, I will put a discount code down below in the description. Now yeah onto onto the arms they do have this adjustable well it's not adjustable it's just for the look i believe and it's like a little strap over the wrist and the button but i must say this is this is one of the most comfortable leather jackets i've worn and i'm not just saying that because i'm getting paid to saying that you already know how i am with these reviews i really do keep it honest and i let the brand know like i'm going to give an honest review you know even if i'm being paid i can't lie to the people do you get what i'm saying but um this is a very comfortable jacket and it's probably because of that goat skin leather it's just really soft and really comfortable and i feel like you can smell the leather with real leather jackets i'm not trying to be weird or anything like that but you can smell the weather the, the weather the leather and inside it's got this nice soft quilted material it's a really good quality jacket and i know for some of you the price is going to be a bit mad but if you're looking for a piece that you want to keep in your wardrobe for a very long time that's not going to change shape or get ruined and i think this is definitely the jacket for you now i'm styling this with a turtleneck that i have on right now from night addict i prefer the logo to be not on the not on the turtleneck sometimes so i am actually wearing it you know back to front i know that's kind of crazy and i've got these wide cream trousers on from zara now Oh yeah, and I've also got my Jordan 1's NYC to Paris on. Now, this is more of a dressed up look, but not dressed up to the point where it's, you know, it's not too classy. It's kind of like, it's classy, but it's more, it's smart and classy, but it's kind of dressed down because I'm wearing trainers. Whereas if I wore shoes with this outfit, I feel like it would change the whole look. But as you can see, the fit fits really nice. It's more slim and more fitted than I would usually go for. But overall, it's just a really nice, clean, simple look and yeah i think it fits me well i don't think i'd go any tighter than this and when i first tried this jacket on i did say to myself oh i think i prefer the jacket i would prefer the jacket if it was a little bit more like oversized and a bit more bigger but now i wore it a little bit i kind of prefer it that it's like this because it's quite different to the jackets that i usually wear and i feel like with this fashion shit you've got to experiment you've got to try different sizes and fits and yeah it's just a really good overall jacket i guess and i will be wearing this and if you do follow me on instagram which is only geo underscore then you will see me post it up with this leather jacket now i was gonna unbox this on camera and show you guys but the box got a little bit damaged and so i just thought let me not you know record the box because the boxes get a bit damaged but um yeah it came wrapped up in plastic it came in a nice box it was presented well and it's just really on point so overall i think this is a good brand i have to let you know as well it did actually come really really quick and there wasn't no custom charges i believe but um yeah the customer service is really good if you just talk to them you know let them know that you want to buy a jacket they will help you with sizing and stuff like that and i did check the reviews before i worked with these guys and yeah the reviews are good people have said like it came fast the quality is good and they just have a wide range of jackets so um yeah there's not much more to say about this jacket if you do have any questions about this jacket or the brand or shipping or anything like that then leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this jacket and as always let me know what you think of my outfit when i style this jacket like would you wear this jacket is it too expensive like let me know in the comments what you think about this jacket and um yeah, until the next time, I'll see you in the next video. I'm trying to stay more productive and trying to be more active. And, you know, we're in lockdown right now here in the UK. So I guess there's no actual excuse. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say a date or a day. I just guess I'll see you when I see you and turn them post notifications on. So, yeah, stay safe, stay productive, take care of yourself. One.